All right, so today we are going to be making corn thinical 100 milligrams per gram of flavored oral paste. So we went ahead and weighed out all of our ingredients and included 10% excess. And so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and put your peg 400 into a beaker. You can weigh it out in the beaker, then you're going to put it on the hot plate. And then once you do that, your peg at 1450, you're going to go ahead and put in here. And then you're going to put your stir bar in there. And then just go ahead and turn it up a little bit. And then you're just going to wait for all of this to melt in together. And then once it's melted together, we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so our peg of 1450 and our peg 400 is all mixed together. So now we're going to go ahead and add in all of the other ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, putting in the flavoring. And then you can go ahead and take your sifter and then go ahead and put the rest of the ingredients in here. Alright, then we'll go ahead and put the Steve all black asides in here. So now we're just going to keep stirring this until all the powders are dissolved. And once they get dissolved, then we're going to turn off the hot plate. Alright, so once you get all of the powders all mixed together and there's no big particles left in there, what you can go ahead and do is just go ahead and turn off your heat, turn off your stir bar, and then you can go ahead and remove this. And as it's cooling down for just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. This is going to be what holds your ointment to which is what we're gonna put this in once we get done. And it looks just like a toothpaste too. And then here's where you're gonna enter, put all the stuff in. And then once you get everything in here, you're just gonna repackage it in here and then put the lid on. And this is what you'll put the label on and distribute to the patient. All right, so back to this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this stir bar out. And then just set it to the side. And I'm actually gonna take my glass stir rod and then just manually stir it until it starts to thicken a little bit. And once it starts to thicken is when we can go ahead and put it in our tube. Okay, so once you feel like it's not getting any thicker as you're stirring, then you can go ahead and put it into your tube. So the easiest way to probably do this is to take um, one of these flasks. And you can actually just put your tube down in there like that. And then you can just pour this down in here. And you're not going to fill up your tube all the way, mostly because this is only going to be 50 grams and the tube can hold two ounces. So, but then what you'll go ahead and need to do is go ahead and try to close it like this. Since we actually don't have a crimper to be able to keep these together, we are going to just fold it over twice. Alright, so once you go ahead and get that all folded in, and then you can go ahead and just take it out. You can do this and make sure nothing's coming out of the bottom. I don't have any liquid coming out. So I can go ahead and put this back into the ointment tube box. And then go ahead and put the lid on it. And then this is what you're just going to go ahead and label with the patient's prescription. And then also you do want to inform the patient that they do want to keep this in the refrigerator.